Righto, guys. So, as you know, these Hiluxes all have an issue with the alternators. They're a bit, how you going? They get full of mud. They're mounted down real low. So, mine gave it up, no surprise. Unfortunately, I dropped a bolt down into the radiator shroud and pulling it off. Turned out the radiator was that perished. The top pipe just snapped off. So, I did have one sitting at home. I like to keep a spare radiator, especially when you've got a Hilux. Because, you know, it's a Hilux. They do radiators. So, I had a cheap alley one sitting at home. I got freighted down to me to where I was. And we've banged that in. Now this video is going to explain why you should or shouldn't buy a cheap aluminium radiator off eBay. Doesn't matter what it's for, I can tell you the results are going to be pretty similar. Now check this out. So there it is, all nice and shiny. Nice aluminium. So what happened with mine is it snapped off here and it also snapped off here. Now I can tell you these radiators Pretty good value, about $200 on eBay. They're probably all from the same supply, somewhere in China or Asia, I suspect. But what they don't tell you is stuff like this. Stuff like this. So what the issue is, the radiator is made like for like for the size of the old uh, clamped together radiator, the old crimped together radiator. So what that means is when they weld this in, it's obviously got big welds in the way where they welded it together. And that means the shroud won't fit on properly. It won't fit where it's supposed to. It sits out seven or eight mils. So that throws everything out of alignment. It throws these out of alignment so they won't line up. It throws this out. Obviously, that doesn't reach there, you can see. I've just had to zip tie that there for now. I'll make a bracket up to adapt it, of course, but that's where we're at right now. Also, the power steering won't fit properly. You can get these top two in if you take the bottom line out. So that's what I've opted. Two bolts better than one. And she's zip tied on this side as well. If we jump down underneath, I can show you what I mean. So I don't know how well you can see that. Not very well at all. There, that little T section you can see pushing off there, the shroud's supposed to push down into that. And it doesn't fit. It's just not big enough because, like I said, the shroud's pushed out wider towards the engine, which means it won't slide into that little groove. One either side there is. I've got them started, so I'm pretty confident it's not going to fall out and fall onto the fan, but that's where the issue is. They're just made too tight, too like for like. If somebody had done a little bit of research, I'm sure they would have figured out that and made them slightly bigger so the shroud still fits inside where it's supposed to, but they don't fit. In any case, this $200, an extra $80, and they delivered, they did delivery and they threw in a full set of silicon hoses. Silicon hoses probably aren't as good as rubber on the cooling system, especially the cheap Chinese ones, but they're good to have as a spare. And it was awesome to have this radiator sitting there instead of paying retail price. I had one sitting at home. And uh, if I was going to tour and I'd be tempted to buy another one and take with me just in case. But aluminium's not going to perish like plastic does. It's going to hold its life probably a lot longer as long as it doesn't crack. So the only way it's going to crack is if there's a lot of stress on it, but I think this one should be good. Uh, I'm pretty confident it'll hold up. It hasn't made much difference to the cooling system. If anything, it's probably running a tiny bit hotter, but it's pretty hard to say as I don't have a digital gauge. Anyway, guys, I feel like I've expressed as much information as I can about how these do and don't fit and whether they're worth the money or not. It's really up to you, but I don't regret it. I'd buy another one. Just bear in mind, they're not going to fit awesome for a couple hundred bucks. If you want one that fits, go to a radiator shop, pay, you know, six, seven hundred and get the right one, but... This is me. This is the sort of thing I do. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.